Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to create Airtable records for Google Forms submission. So, I am an owner of a business and I am collecting my customers' feedbacks with the help of Google Forms submission. And what I want is that every time a new form submission is done in my Google Forms, automatically all the data of that form should be added into my Airtable. For that, we need to create an automation between Google Forms and Airtable with the help of Pabli Connect. In Pabli Connect, to start an automation process, we need trigger and actions. In this process, my trigger application is going to be Google Forms and my action application is going to be Airtable. If you want to learn how to do this automation, then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to create Airtable record from the Google Forms submission. So, I am an owner of a business and I am collecting my customers' feedback with the help of Google Forms submission. And I want that every time a new form submission is done by my customer with the help of Google Forms, automatically all the data of that form submission should be added into my Airtable. For that, we are going to create an automation between Google Forms and Airtable with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect, that is pabli.com slash connect. After opening the website, we have to sign into our Pabli Connect account. If you are a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So I'm going to sign into my Pabli Connect account. After that, you can see the all apps window in front of you in which you can see the five functions of Pabli, from which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on access now. Then on a new tab, Pabli Connect's dashboard will open. For starting our automation process, we need to create a workflow. For that, we have to click over here on create workflow. Then a new dialog box will open in front of you, which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give a name to my workflow as Airtable record for Google Forms submission. So this is the name that I want to provide to this workflow. If you want, you can name your workflow anything that you want. After that, it is asking for me to select a folder. So on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my public connect account. So I want to choose a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. So I'm going to select my folder as Airtable workflow. If you want, you can create your own folder by clicking over here and you can save your workflow in that folder. After giving a name to a workflow and selecting the folder, I'm going to click on create to create a workflow. I have created a workflow in the name of Airtable record for Google Form submission and you can see there are two windows in front of us. One says trigger, another says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two steps. Over here, trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but various action steps because our trigger step is the command and action is going to follow that command. Firstly, we are going to set up our trigger step. For that, we have to click on this arrow right over here and as it is asking for us to choose our trigger application and in the introduction, I've already told you that our trigger application is going to be Google Forms. So I'm going to select Google Forms. After that, it is asking for a trigger event and a trigger event is going to be new response received. That means every time a form submission is done with the help of Google Forms, Pabli Connect is going to capture the response. After that, you can see Pabli Connect has provided us with a webhook URL. This URL will help us to connect Google Forms with Pabli Connect. For that, we have to follow the steps given below right over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my Google Form that I've created. So I'm going to open it. As you can see, this is the form that I've created with the help of Google Forms. And as I want to connect this form with Public Connect, for that we have to click on this responses right over here. After that, we have to click on link to sheets. Then a new dialog box will appear in front of you on which I'm going to create a new spreadsheet. If you want, you can select an existing spreadsheet. After selecting create a new spreadsheet, I'm going to click on create. Then you can see a new spreadsheet has been created in the name of customer feedback responses. So this spreadsheet is directly connected with my form that I've created so that every time a form submission is done, like for the first name, last name, email, mobile number and remark, every time a form submission is done, automatically the record of that form submission will be created in my Google Sheets for the first name, last name, email, mobile number and the remark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this Google spreadsheet with Pabli Connect so that every 
every time a new record is created in this spreadsheet automatically public connect will capture the response so how we are going to connect this spreadsheet with public connect i'm going to tell you on the top we have to click on this extensions right over here after that we have to click on add-ons and then on get add-ons then a new window will open in front of us in which on the search bar we have to search for pabli so as you can see over here it says pabli connect web books we are going to click on it then you will see over here it says pabli connect web books i am going to open this and as you can see i have already installed pabli connect web books so i am going to proceed but if you haven't installed this please install it so we can connect pabli connect with this google spreadsheet so I'm going to go back. I'm going to again click on extensions. Then over here, as you can see, it says Pabli Connect Web Books. We are going to click on it. And then we have to select initial setup. As you can see, a dialog box has appeared in front of you, which is asking for a web book URL and a trigger column. So firstly, for the web book URL, I'm going to copy the unique web book URL that Pabli Connect has provided us. For that, I'm going to click over here on copy. After copying this web book URL, I'm going to paste it right over here. After pasting the webhook URL, it is asking for the trigger column. The trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added. So in this spreadsheet, my trigger column is going to be column F because this is the last column in which the data will be added. So I'm going to write over here column F. After setting up the webhook URL and selecting our trigger column, we are going to click on submit. As you can see over here, it says setup configured successfully. So I'm going to click on this X right over here and we are going to click on extensions again. We are going to select public connect web books and this step is very important. We are going to click on send on event. So if I take you back to extension and public connect web books and you can see a tick mark is present in front of send on events. This step is very important so that every time a new response is captured in this Google sheet, automatically when the event happens, Public Connect will capture the response. So this step is very important. So don't forget to click on send on events. After setting up our webhook URL, I'm going to go back to Pabli and as you can see over here, it says waiting for webhook response. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to submit in a dummy form submission. For that, I'm going to open my Google Forms. After that, over here on the top, you can see it says preview. I'm going to click on it. So this is the form that I've created and I'm going to fill in all the details and I'm going to submit this form. So firstly, it is asking for the first name. So for the first name, I'm going to write it as dummy. And then for the last name, I'm going to write it as user. And then for the email, I'm going to write it as dummy user at the rate pablitudes.com. Lastly, for the phone number, I'm going to write in a dummy mobile number. And lastly, for the remark, I'm going to write it as good. After filling all the details, I'm going to click on submit to submit this form response. As you can see over here, it says your response has been recorded. So I'm going to go back to my Pabli Connect account and I'm going to check whether the form submission that we have done right now is captured by Pabli or not. For that, I'm going to open my Pabli Connect. And yes, as you can see, a response is captured by Pabli Connect. So for the name, it says dummy. For the last name as user, a dummy mobile number, remark as code and an email. That means you're successfully connected Google Forms with Pabli Connect. After setting up our trigger step, we need to set up our action step. For that, we have to click on this arrow right over here. And as in the introduction, I've already told you that our action application is going to be Airtable. So I'm going to select Airtable. After that, for the action event, we are going to select it as Create Record. That means every time a response will be captured in our Pabli Connect from Google Form submission, automatically a record will be created in our Airtable from that captured response. After that, I'm going to click on Connect in order to authorize Airtable with Pabli Connect. Then a new table will open in front of us on which I'm going to click on add new connection. But if you have an existing connection, you can choose this option. After that, I'm going to click on connect with Airtable. Then you can see a new window will open in front of us on which I'm going to click on add a base. And I have created a base in my Airtable in the name of customers data. So I'm going to select this. And then I'm going to click on grant access because this is a safe process and my data is safe with Pabli Connect. As you can see, we have successfully authorized Airtable with Pabli Connect. 
So in my Airtable, this is the base that I've created in the name of customers data. And for the details, I've all these columns as first name, last name, email, mobile number and the remark. So this is the base that I've created. What I want is that every time a new form submission is done, automatically according to these fields, data should be recorded in my Airtable. For that, what we are going to do is we are going to fill all these details. Firstly, for the base name, I'm going to select it as customers data over here. I'm going to select it customers data after that it's asking for the table name over here I've only created a single table in the name of table one so I'm going to select my table name as table one after that it is asking for the first name last name email phone number and the remark so what I'm going to do with all these steps is I'm going to map the data mapping means inserting data from the previous step so i'm going to insert the data from my trigger step so that every time a new response is captured in our trigger steps automatically the data over here will be updated according to the new response so firstly i'm going to map the data for the first name so for the first name i'm going to click right over here and as you can see this is the previous response that is google forms new response receipt i'm going to click on this arrow right over here and you can see the data from the previous response that is captured in public connect so as we want the data for the first name so i'm going to map the data for the first name so now after mapping this data this data has become dynamic that means every time a new response is captured in public connect automatically the data right over here will be updated after that it is asking for the last name so i'm going to again map the data by clicking over here I will click on this arrow right over here and as I want the data for the last name, so I'm going to map the data for the last name. We are going to follow the same steps for the email. I'm going to click right over here, click on this arrow and as I want the data for the email, I'm going to map the data for the email. After that for the phone number, I'm going to map the data again, click over here, click on this arrow and as I want the data for the phone number, so I'm going to map it. Lastly for the remark, I'm going to follow the same steps, I'm going to click over here. Click on this arrow right over here for the remark. I'm going to map the data for the remark and we are done with mapping. So all of these data will be updated according to the new response captured in our public connect from our trigger step. Next it is asking for the enable typecasting. So I'm going to select it as false. After filling all the details of our action step, we are going to click on save and send test request. So as you can see over here, a response is received. So I'm going to go back to my Airtable and I'm going to check whether a response is recorded in my Airtable or not. For that, I'm going to open my Airtable. And yes, as you can see, a response is recorded in my Airtable. For the name, it says dummy. For the last name as user. For the email as dummy user at the rate pavlitudes.com. For the phone number, a dummy mobile number and for the remark as good. So that means we are successfully connected Google Forms with Airtable. But for all of you guys, I'm going to submit in a new response so that a record will be created of that response into my Airtable. For that, I'm going to open my Google Forms. So this is the Google Form that I've created. I'm going to click on this I button right over here that is preview. So this is the form that I've created with the help of Google Forms. So I'm going to fill in all these details. So as you can see, I filled all these details right over here. After that, I'm going to click on submit to submit our form. Over here, it says your response has been recorded. So I'm going to open my Airtable and I'm going to check whether a response is recorded in my Airtable or not. For that, I'm going to open my Airtable. And yes, as you can see, a record is captured in my Airtable for the form submission that we have done in our Google Forms. Firstly, for the full name, it says test. Last name as user, email as testuser at the rate publicutes.com. For the mobile number, a dummy mobile number and for the remark as impressive. That means you have successfully created an automation between Google Forms and Airtable with the help of public connect. So now to sum up till now what we have done. I am a business owner and I am collecting my customers feedbacks with the help of Google Forms. And what I wanted is that every time a form submission is done in my Google Forms, automatically the details of that form should be recorded in my Airtable. For that, we have created an automation between Google Forms and Airtable with the help of Public Connect. So in Public Connect to start an automation process, we need to create a workflow. So I have created a workflow in the name of Airtable record for Google Forms submission. And we have to set up our trigger and action step. So for the trigger step, I've taken my trigger application as Google Forms and my trigger event as new response received. That means every time a new form submission is done with the help of Google Forms, automatically Public Connect is going to capture the new response. 
After that, we have set up our action step. For the action application, we have taken it as Airtable and our action event as create record. That means every time a form submission is done and public connect is going to capture the response, the response data should be transferred into my Airtable and a record should be created. So this is how we create an automation between Google Forms and Airtable with the help of public connect. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and queries and please share this video. So not just with these applications, you can automate more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, you can send us email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask us queries on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any questions regarding the Pabli Connect pricing, you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.